Take two. Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D. Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. So, we are here with Divine Masculine's karmic situation first. Immediately after this, we got Divine Feminine's karmic situation. So, what really is all in a Divine Masculine's karmic situation? Well, we're just focusing in on the karma that surrounds your Divine Masculine. It ain't always got to be a relationship. In fact, a lot of these divine masculines ain't even in relationships. And I'm hearing some of you feminines. Well, mine is. I mean, you might not be. But you read minds? <laughs> you reading minds now? You reading hearts now? Yeah. There's a lot of shit you just don't know what's going on with your divine masculine. You assume, but it ain't what you think. It's what you know. Okay? Um, The divine masculine is the king of wands for a reason. He's the king of actions and behavior. He's like me. Okay? Why I'm feminine, you're like Trinity. You're cool in the game, feminine, but it's like a chess game. If you get took, game still goes on. Masculine gets took, game over. <laughs> what constitutes a divine masculine's role? A two of wands. What's two of wands? That's support. That's holding a person down like balloon strings. That's being there. Divine Feminine, which is out here, what y'all really don't realize is exactly what your Divine Masculine's role is. His role is just to be in your life. He doesn't have to be. Rule number one in this Twin Flame game, this shit is optional on both parts. On both parts. It's optional for you, Feminine, to even deal with this situation. It's optional for your Divine Masculine to even deal with your ass <laughs> or put up with your shit, you know? If your Masculine want to play the game, then <clears throat> how can you win? It's not a loss. I mean, you met your divine masculine, right? He's there. Two of wands. That's why two of wands is the divine masculine's role. As long as he's there, that's all that matters. When you call and he pick up, that's all that matters. He might not want to hang with you or deal with your motherfucking ass, but every time you call, he picks up. That's a two of wands. You got an event or some shit shaking. <laughs> you invite your masculine to it, he comes. He's supporting you. Why well, need him to do more than that? Well, you hold the third one. That's your role, Divine Feminine. Three of Wands. What's Three of Wands? That's doing more than what the masculine is doing. Obviously. It's basic rules. <laughs> um, what you got to understand, too, is who your Divine Masculine is. Because if you knew who he was, you'll know how he acts. I said that shit two times. For the niggas in the back. <laughs> if you know who your Divine Masculine was, you'll know how he acts. You'll know why he's triggering. You'll know the triggers that that's setting off on you. You know what I mean? Like, you got to know where your divine masculine comes from, who he is inside, because that's what makes him a divine masculine, his actions and behavior, not what he has. That's a karmic masculine, what a divine masculine has, his status. You know what I mean? Shit he has on a pinnacle level. What's a pinnacle? It's a person, place, or a thing. Something you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. It's a temporary pinnacle, whatever it is. All pinnacles is temporary, especially in this temporary space and time. Pinnacle could be me. My body, it's a pinnacle. My mind, my brain, the actual brain, it's a pinnacle. You know what I mean? Pinnacles, just like pinnacles ain't always got to be about finances and money and shit like that. Like your heart is a pinnacle. Your eyes is a pinnacle. Your tongue is a pinnacle. Your voice is a pinnacle. It's a thing. And all things expire in this third dimension we call the world. So don't look at the world for what it is. Just... Look at it for what it really is. It's a temporary space and time where all things expire. Tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. Not me, not your masculine, not your mother, brother, sister, baby, niece, nephew, car, job. <laughs> hey, it's all pinnacles. Pinnacles are taken, stolen, destroyed. They can be replaced. They can be regained. So you got to know what a pinnacle is, just like you got to know what a divine masculine is, just like you got to know who you are, divine feminine. You got to know what a karmic is so you can see them coming a mile away. You can't see a karmic coming up in your cipher. How are you going to see the devil? You ain't shit to worry about. The devil, Satan, and Lucifer, three different people from three different places with three different motherfucking agendas who have no power or dominion over you. You know what I mean? You got to know God when you see God or God when you hear God. Christ could be sitting right next to you. Angel could be sitting right next to you. Fairy could be sitting right next to you. You need to identify pinnacles that come to and from your square. I'm talking to the feminists right now. 
Now I'm talking to the divine masculines. Reading starts in five minutes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I will go over pinnacles, swords, wands, and cups as they come. First card in this message, we got a wand. What's a wand? That's actions and behavior. Things you're doing, things you've done, not shit you finna do because that don't mean a damn thing. You got the Queen of Wands, first card in your deck, which is fairly important. That's the overall energy. Bottom line energy is very important. Fairly important. Ten of Wands, the bottom line energy, very important. Top row is your karma, masculine, because we ain't just talking about karmic relationships. I mean, I don't know why all you divines, so-called divines, let me say that shit. So-called divines are stuck on who your masculine is sucking on, fucking on. You know what I mean? Brat to that thing. Like, quit giving a fuck about your masculine sexual escapade. Who we sleeping with. Who we calling. Who we talking to. That don't mean shit to you. He has a whole life outside of your own life. Say that shit two times. With niggas in the back. Hey, he's got his own life. Outside of your life. Because you got one. Unless you ain't got a life. Thus, you all on his nuts. And you need to ease up off them shits. Probably why he giving your ass some space. Any rate. Divine masculine's out. I mean, divine feminine's out here. Excuse me. And um, why is the feminine out here? Could be your divine feminine. Could be another divine feminine. Oh, yeah. A lot of psychics don't want to talk about that shit. Your divine masculine can fall in love with another divine feminine. Besides you. <laughs> you know, y'all don't even be thinking of that shit. Y'all so caught up on is he dating a karmic that y'all be forgetting it's other divines out here. Just in case you ain't handling your business. Got the Ace of Cups. Self-love, self-care, self-admiration, self-respect, self-identification, self-realization. A cup are, is feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are, are just indicators of where you're going mentally. What's the mind? It's a sword. Ain't no sword out here too, masculine. None. <laughs> but the heart, cups, and mind, swords, thoughts, decisions, mentality, ideology, the direction you're going, the decisions you're making. You know what I mean? Your mentality. Like, that's the divine feminine's department. The heart and the mind. You the king of what? Wands. Actions and behavior. And pinnacles. Manifestations. Like I say, shit, you can taste, touch, see, feel them here. And all pinnacles expire and or have an expiration date. So, your overall energy, which is fairly important, we got your divine feminine, ace of cupping. Or, we got another divine feminine that's ace of cupping. What's Ace of Cups? That's taking care of yourself. It's doing what you got to do to take care of yourself. Like I say, your masculine has a whole life. He had one before you met him. Your divine feminine masculine has a whole life. She had one before you met her. Her life doesn't revolve around you. Hopefully, she ain't telling you that shit or, you know, doing actions to make it seem like that. And as you know, because masculines know, your life do not revolve around your feminine. I take this in two ways. You either A, telling your divine feminine to take care on some Drake shit. Just take care. Take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Because that's what I'm doing. And um, all masculines come right back around. It's a cycle. You know what I mean? Y'all might be in separation, but reunion happens all the time. Just like separation happens all the time. Union happens one time. And recognition, meeting your twin, that happens one time too. The masculine is giving you space, feminines. To take care of y'all so it's crucial he's giving you space for you to do that shit also he's got to do the same thing he's not gonna have you give you space for you to take care of yourself without him doing the same damn thing you don't do what your divine masculine's doing in fact your masculine does what you doing feminine so a lot of feminines are on their shit biscuits they out here head on in their business taking good care of they self glowing growing living Learning and earning every motherfucking day. And your masculine wants to get on your level. That's what's up. <laughs> Bottom line, though, we got the Ten of Wands. This is a temporary ending. Ten of Swords is a permanent ending. Those things that are outside your control that ends. Ten of Swords would be the equivalent of somebody dying. It's outside your hands. And it's something, sword, that you register. Could be you losing your job. You losing your car. You losing your home. You can never tend of swords your twin flame situation. Even by cord cutting. You can't override God. Fuck what everybody else be talking about. Uh, this, this, this twin flame situation was set up by Father God himself. You, your feminine, uh, masculine, and God set this whole twin flame shit up before it was even set up. 
Ten of Wands is a temporary ending. This is shit you pump the brakes on. This is you like leaving your divine feminine alone to take care of herself. Bottom line, this is important. It's important that you like you gotta do that. For your feminine sake. What masculines do all the time is think for the feminine. But in reality, whatever your masculine is doing to you, feminine, is best. He's the king. You're the queen. <laughs> know the rules. You know what I mean? The shit your masculine does to you, feminine, is shit you need to do to other people or shit you need to do for yourself. Anytime feminines are out here trying to compete with the masculine or doing whatever the fuck the masculine is doing, you setting yourself up for twin flame failure. But feminine, if you on your shit, you taking care of yourself, your masculine going to follow suit. Monkey see, monkey do. First card is message. We got God. Yeah, it's a God card in my tarot deck. See, when I started four years ago, I never heard of a God card. And if there was, I never seen him. Now, four years later, four years later, it's it's God cards all up in tarot. See, motherfuckers are just acknowledging the devil <laughs> and all kind of shit. God is in the house. Usually when God comes up or what God is in my deck, it's something good, bad, or ugly. God can show up as a blessing, a miracle, but God can also show up as a tower moment or judgment. This could be the equivalent of, I don't know, a judge <laughs> um, putting a verdict down on whatever you got going on, masculine. This could be the worst day of your life happening. See, God don't make no mistakes, and God works in mysterious ways, and God is also absolute. There is no imperfection in the perfection that is God. See, Lucifer thought that shit. That's why he fell from grace. He went from a <laughs> celestial being living in the four wands, which is home, that's Zion, Havana. And, and, and now he's limited to the world, which is a temporary space and time where all things expire, including the devil, Satan, Lucifer, three different people from three different places, with three different motherfucking agendas. God is also a sword, something you register. What you and God got going on is mental. God is a personal relationship before he's anything else to you in this world. And it uh, seems like God is out here masculine to bring a little K for karma to your situation. Is it good, bad, or ugly, though? Ah, He's coming with some good shit. God is coming through with some awareness. Ace of Wands is awareness. This is also the Nebuchadnezzar of my deck. Like the Nebuchadnezzar from the Matrix. So you got to be awoke in order to enter the Nebuchadnezzar. If Neo was still in the Matrix, sleeping at Bubble, then Morpheus couldn't have pulled up on him in the sewers and picked him up out of him. <laughs> if Neo was still injected in the Matrix, he wouldn't be in the real world. Thus, he wouldn't be divine. You know what I mean? Karmics are stuck in the bubble. Karmics are the one who ain't awoke or can't wake the fuck up. You understand what I'm saying? So, hey. I just take it as this. You get mad awareness, masculine, on how aware you really are. You your twins twin. Look how brilliant your feminine is. Look how aware your feminine is. Look how she I'm talking about the good ones, the ones that's on their business. I sorry I can't really talk shit about the blind feminines that ain't on shit. I mean, it's fucked up. And it's karma to you not being on your shit too, feminists. But we'll talk to y'all when we get to y'all message. But yeah, you you start to get mad awareness on what this twin flame situation really is. We sum that up in your old masculine situation, the reading that I did before this this week. Check it out. You have it. Um, you get a lot of awareness about who God really is. It's like your feminine been speaking, preaching, doing her thing, kind of giving you awareness since since day one. Now, a lot of this awareness your feminine is giving you, you finally becoming aware of it. It's like God is basically holding your motherfucking head for you to see some shit, and you're seeing it. You directly come into the situation masculine, you got the five of wands. This is separation. You are, a lot of y'all masculines are separated from your divine feminine. Yeah, I moved to uh, another city. So I'm not in the same city as my masculine anymore. Actually, I ain't been in the same city as my masculine since about 2020. But even where I was at, I was only like 20, 30 minutes away from my twin. And I'm still not that far away from my twin. Twin probably about like an hour and a half away from him. 
So it's like I'm not in the same city, but I mean, the same shit I got going on now with my twin is the same shit I probably had going on then with him. So, ain't nothing changed but the address. But a lot of you masculines really feel F E E L that void. And y'all stopped Phil filling F I L L I N G filling the void of not having your divine feminine around. You're learning to accept separation for what it really is. It's the glue that holds you and your twin flame together. The fact that you even fill a void from your feminine not being around just shows you the connection that you guys really and truly share. <sighs> Put some more smoke on. Clarifying the five of wands, we got the knight of wands. Knight of wands is progressive movement. It's you moving fast and furiously towards your divine direction, i.e. the place to be. Separation, I told you, is the glue that holds twin flames together. It has to happen. Uh, I mean, how else you going to fill the void? You had your feminine around you just praising you, just being at your beck and call, just being very attentive and very concerned. And Ace of Cups, caring for you in ways that other people don't. Now that you separated from your feminine, you seeing who really cares, who's really aware, who's really there. And it's hitting you like a ton of bricks. You're starting to see exactly what you was getting from your divine feminine and exactly what you're getting from these karmic feminines that uh, you just love running to and filling voids with. Moving on to the feminine energy. In your karma, in the feminine energy, we got the queen of cups. This is the psychic card in my deck. It means a few things. First of all, it's a psychic card. What's a psychic? Trusting in your own intuition. For once, <laughs> say that shit one more time. What's a psychic? Trusting in your own intuition. Damn, boom. How'd you even know that? You a psychic or something? Uh, it's just a title. I'm just trusting my own intuition. Just kind of hit it on the head. That's one of my powers. This represents like an X-Men. Divine masculines and feminines are X-Men. I'm more like Gambit. <laughs> you know, I'm a prophet, psychic medium. You know what I mean? I can prophesize, predict futures, put people on paths, show people exactly what unconditional love is, help people find a purpose, help people find a twins. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm raw. You know what I mean? But with cards, like Gambit, I'm dangerous. My twin flame, my divine masculine, he's like Wolverine. He survived things that I would never survive. Like, just like Wolverine can get hurt real fucking bad and heal and sustain injuries that an average human will probably die from, I'm asking to survive. Cell regeneration. I'm trying to find had brain surgery. Split his shit wide open. <laughs> Took some shit out of it. Sold his ass back up. I've been a CNA off and on for about uh, 12 to 15 years. Out of everybody I've seen that got brain surgery like my divine masculine, I've never seen them heal, right? Rehab and repair to normal looking form. They either regress or they're missing some shit. You know? The shit that my masculine has survived. There's no other person I know in this world who survived what he's survived. He's a strong guy. He's a Sagittarius, too. I'm a Leo. Fire, fire. Twin flames. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just quite phenomenal, too. So, like I say, my master will be like Wolverine. I'm like Gambit. And you see Wolverine and Gambit's relationship. They always, like, going back and forth with each other and shit. They both respect each other, but they both kind of get on each other's nerves. Queen of Cups is also dreams, visions, signs, synchronicities, and writings on the wall. I.e., uh, psychic. <laughs> this could be you dreaming of your twin flame. Divine masculine. You see your feminine everywhere you go. You, know, you go to sleep, you see her. You wake up, you're reminded of her. He could be a she, she could be a he. You know how we rock it. This could be foresight. Your twin told you some shit years ago. <laughs> Gave you some awareness years ago. you finally acknowledging or getting aware of it now. Karma. You think you're getting haunted by your divine feminine. Fuck no. She's in your subconscious. You're in hers. Same shit you got going on with her is the same shit she got going on with you. He could be a she, she could be a he. You know how we rock it. You directly in regards to the feminine. 
masculine, you got the world. Four cups. What's the world? It's a temporary space and time where all things expire. I'm going to say this shit one more time. This is the third dimension. That's where the world lies. It's it's also a pinnacle. The world is the same way I can get shot by a random bullet <laughs> or get hit by a random motherfucking meteor about the size of a quarter that can go through my brain or heart at any time. Oh, it's like millions of ways to die out here. You know what I mean? Just as vulnerable as I am as a human being, that's how vulnerable the world is. We can get hit by an asteroid or a comet at any fucking time. You understand what I'm saying? A gamma ray burst can be pointed right at our direction and, and, and fry the fuck out of us. <laughs> you know what I mean? A huge celestial body. You know what I mean? Mass. Some type of other planet. Some type of unknown planet. Maybe our binary star that's coming back for a rotation or something can throw us out of orbit. Like, it's so much shit that can happen to the world. I don't know why motherfuckers think that the world gonna live on forever or end up like Mars. Hey, the world is just as vulnerable as we are. Just like we got a place in this world and a part to play, the world has a place in the universe and a part to play. You're starting to see the world for what it really is. It's a temporary space and time where all things expire. Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow may never come <laughs> for you or me. Life is not promised. Tomorrow may never show up. You better hold this very moment every moment right now <laughs> right now son like you gotta appreciate every motherfucking day only karmics <laughs> have no disregard for the day if you living for the weekend if you living for tomorrow some karmic ass shit every day we can help somebody every day can be a day chosen to help someone that's what makes divines our actions and behaviors the shit that we do we don't have to give. We don't have to do right. We can act like everybody in the world. <laughs> Be some who shiesty out here. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we obviously got a place in the world. And masculine, you starting to see your place in it. A divine lives a very lonely life. It's a gift and a curse to be divine. It's only 28% of us in this world. 70% of this world is karmic. And then you got the 1-2% percent. It could be divine or carbon, wherever they fall in. You see in the world for what it really is. It's not a playground anymore. It's not Disney anymore. The world is looking very Spike Lee-ish. Very Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you see in the world for what it really is. What karmics do is bend your perception of what the world really is. Take focus on the shit you really need to be focusing on in the world. The world itself is full of distractions. And masculine, you've been distracted for a while now. Thank God you awake and got that awareness. So, to your role, the divine masculine's role, karmically, what's going on with you is the Nine of Cups. Dreams come true, wishes granted, or a miracle. A dream come true, a wish granted, or a miracle is a cup. What's a cup? It's a feeling or emotion. All indicators of where you're going on mentally. Your dream is your dream. So when you see your dream becoming a reality, it's registering in your head. Oh, shit. It's really happening. Wish. You wish from the heart. You have a wish that you want it granted. The, the, the wish is getting granted as you speak. You you felt something, and you, or you want to feel something. You're feeling it. You're registering in your head. Once again, what's a cup? It's a feeling or emotion. All feelings and emotions are just indicators. Vibes are indicators. Emotions are indicators. Feelings are indicators. Now, where the fuck are you going mentally? One thing about dreams coming true and wishes granted and miracles, they seem to come randomly. It's divine timing. They come on divine time. Something you can't predict. Something you can't um, guesstimate. You know what I'm saying? Or finesse. They just happen. Love always has a way of having bad timing. Maybe something you wished for or you dreamed of came late. Not, <laughs> like I say, God is perfected. He's absolute. 
You understand what I'm saying? There is no flaw in how he do shit out here. I notice in a lot of atheists, they blame God for a lot of shit. Like, he's some nigga on the street. <laughs> yeah, I mean, motherfuckers want to hold God to, like, human and earthly accountability, even forgetting that there's divine accountability out here. God is omnipresent. Everybody on this motherfucking planet got a brain. That's where God resides. So even if you don't fuck with God, you fucking with him. He still love you. He's Father God. A father loves his children. A good father. Yeah, a dream that you wanted to happen, most likely with your divine fe feminine, is probably happening now. And it's like the wrong fucking time. <laughs> a miracle that you was expecting to happen between you and your twin, or with yourself, or with your feminine. Whatever this blessing is in your life, it's going to bless your feminine. Whatever blessing your feminine get, damn sure she going to bless you with it. It's not the reason why y'all joined by the hip and connected and shit. Let's put some more smoke on this. Dream come true, which is granted. Ooh, we got another nine. Nine of Pentacles. What's a nine of Pentacles? It's lighting your life up to fit another person, place, or thing in it. Whatever this pinnacle, another pinnacle will make a ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a manifestation. This is your dream. This is your wish. This is your miracle. Ten of Pentacles will be your dream, wish, manifesting. You see it. That's why it's the Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a life. If your life could be summed up in one card, it'd be an Eight of Pentacles. What's an Eight of Pentacles? That's an 80%. What's an 80%? That's a B. What's a 70%? That's a C. Seven of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Pentacles? That's the re -re card. R-E-R-E. -R -E. You got to rearrange your life. You got to remove things out your life. You got to release things out your life. You got to rearrange shit. You got to rehash on some shit. Maybe go to rehab or some shit. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to really reconnect. Maybe reunite. R-E, reunion. R-E, recognition. <laughs> R-E, reconnect. It's something, just rearranging your life so it can kind of shape its way in that that the way you see fit, because you are the thinker who thinks the thoughts that makes the things, and thoughts become things. Eight of Pentacles are all over the place. They kind of look like this Eight of Wands, and I'm glad this is out here because I got a good rant for this Eight of Wands, which is communication. But uh, Eight of Pentacles will look like this, right? My deck looks very different. It's fucking crazy. I finally get my artwork, so the little terminology that I'm using with regular playing cards on how shit is positioned, it ain't like that with my deck. But the book comes with my deck, so you'll know exactly what the card is with the book. It's coming. I'm even sure. <laughs> Doing pre-orders December 21st. Hey, book dropping January 2nd. Season 5 of LLU Ascension, by the way. Yeah, we've been doing this for a minute. But, uh, yeah, Eight of Pentacles look like this all over the fucking place. Until you line your life up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four plus four. That's eight. That's a life. You lining up. It's not messy. This is you lining your motherfucking life up. To what? Receive a wish granted, dreams come true, or the miracle that you've been seeking. You've been putting in a lot of work, masculine, and trying to manifest something. Something that's definitely going to benefit you, but something that you wanted to happen to finally, I don't know, show your feminine what you've been wanting to show her. So much I want to show you. I'll take you high. Get Lifted by John Legend. Play that shit. After you look at this message and read this reading and shit, like, get lifted. Play the intro and the song. You know what I'm saying? John Legend. Like, that whole vibe. That's the Divine Masculine right now. Some shit he been trying to show you. Some shit Feminine been trying to show you too, Masculine. But we ain't talking about her. We talking about you. It's some shit you been trying to show your, your Feminine. It's some shit you been wanting to do with your Feminine. But you probably ain't had a means to do it. Like, it could be your living situation. Where you stay at. You know what I mean? Given your residential setup and get up. Kind of makes it hard for you to kind of build with your divine feminine. When you're still in the building stage yourself. Could be a job that you've been wanting to get. With the benefits that you've been trying to get. To kind of secure the position. Pinnacle. That you've been wanting to be. So you can finally be on some shit. With your feminine. Whatever it is masculine. You in regards to yourself personally, directly, we got an ace of pentacles. I mean, you just had the nine of pentacles. We just talked about having another pentacle. You're lighting your life up to fit a another pentacle in your shit. You're going to do that. That would be the ten of pentacles. Thus, your dream come true or your wish granted finally coming into fruition. 
Now, this is a karmic reading, and I gotta say this shit. Um, for the masses, I ain't fucking with they divine feminists. That's moving on, like Maya. Um, this could be that person, place, or thing you want it to a for add to your life. But whatever this person, place, or thing is, you're gonna have to take accountability for it. Ten of Pentacles could Ten of Pentacles could be you get engaged, to someone, you getting married to someone, or you having another Pentacle baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? So a lot of masters just had babies recently. Just got engaged recently. Just got married recently. Whether it's with or without your feminine, because it really don't matter. And feminine, if he's moved on and got married and had a baby with somebody else and shit, I mean, y'all still got a purpose to do. Y'all still in each other's lives for a reason, but once again, rule number one in this twin flame game, this shit is optional on both sides can't give up on your masculine just because he not fucking with you. He ain't give up on you. You're probably his best friend. Pretty sure you are. He respects and values your opinion. I'm sure he does. So whoever he's with, I bet you he talked to you about this person. I bet you he wants your blessings. <laughs> For it. Like, y'all can't stop being friends because he ain't fucking with you. That's karmic as shit. If you ain't noticed. You cannot not be happy for your divine masculine. He happy. He's in a new phase in life. Yes, it's without you, but hey, what kind of fucking friend are you? I see it a lot. But you so-called divine feminists, Joe. Your masculine move on, and it's like, fuck this whole twin flame shit. Like, y'all ain't getting recognition for a reason. Like, come on. I'm going to keep it real. That's what the fuck I do. You know what I'm saying? Half the shit I be saying really ain't marketable, but it ain't about marketing shit. I ain't finna tell no story, tell fable about what this twin flame situation is when this is the realest shit that's going to happen to your life. And masculine, your feminine could do the same shit. Support her. That's your job to arrive. Support your number one support. <laughs> Don't get mad when your feminine moves the fuck on because she's tired of like playing games with you. She's tired of waiting. She ain't waiting anyway. That's rule number two in this twin flame shit. We don't wait. You don't wait for your master to get his shit together. Master, you don't wait for your feminine to get shit together. There's no waiting here. You just do. Future final role wrapping this shit up so we can get to the feminist reading because I'm anxious to see what's going on with us karmically. We got the eight of wands. This is communication. Communication is 80% nonverbal. 20% of it is talking. 80% of it is doing. What are wands? Actions and behavior. Shit you doing. Shit you've done. I shit you finna do because that don't mean shit. Okay? Eight of wands is communication. And guess what? Even if you ain't saying some shit, that's saying some shit. Say that shit one more time. For the niggas in the back. Hey. Even when you ain't saying shit, you saying shit. It's like you take your karmic out on a date. <laughs> You're having big fun. You look over to see if she's having fun, and you ask her, you having fun yet? <laughs> she says nothing. That's saying something. You wake up from a binge of partying hard. Your fucking dick itch. <laughs> Take a piss. Shit, burn like a motherfucker. You call your car me. You was fucking up. Hey, um, I think I got a problem. So, apparently I'm burnt. You know what I mean? Uh, would you know where I got this shit from? It's silence on the other end. <laughs> you just got some real bad news. And you go for an explanation and ain't nobody saying nothing. That says a lot. You come home after a hard day at work. Find your favorite, I don't know, bass, lamp, bottle of liquor. It's broken, spilt on the floor, and you ask the members in your household, what the fuck happened? They say nothing. That's saying something. Masculine. Karma. Because <laughs> this is in your karma role going to the future. Hey, you got to speak up. And your wands is communication. It could be an email. Text message, phone call, fucking bat signal, a smoke signal, or a passenger pigeon. For Christ's sakes, man. Like, as long as you just communicate, that's what matters. 
Because saying something is only 80%. Like, no, saying something is only 20% of it. It's still the actions that you're doing. What you're saying, 20%. And what you're doing, 80%. Got out of fucking jail. It's got to be the same shit. It's got to be on one accord. It's been a lot of stuff you ain't said, masculine. Now's the time to say it. Why? So your feminine can finally get some actions and behavior. Juan stone her way. <laughs> so she can at least digest what you're saying or what you're not saying. Even if you don't know how to say it. Say it. My divine masculine. He talks reflectively. He'll say some shit. He's feeling. But say it to me like I'm doing some shit. Like he'll say some shit I'm doing, which I'm not doing. And I'm looking like clueless. I'm like looking like Scooby Doo, like what the fuck? Like I know that's not me. You can't possibly be talking about me. He's not. He'll be talking about himself. But if this is how you gotta get it off your chest, well nigga don't don't let me stop. <laughs> don't let me stop you. I, I, I like the fact that you're even talking. Like I love when my masculine says what's really on his heart or what's really on his mind. Because number one when he says shit it's like I can register it. Figure that much, but now I know. At least I ain't got to guess no more. That's how you feel. That's how you really feel. <laughs> like, it's like a person who ain't good at apologies trying to apologize. It's like, I'm sorry. You just an asshole. What? what? I didn't hear you. What you say? Can you say that one more time? He doesn't say anything. <laughs> But you heard the sorry on first time. And it's like, I know you heard me, so I ain't finna say shit else. Just say something. Fuck it. Say anything. Hopefully your divine feminine is aware to kind of hear you say something. It's like you saying something, but you ain't saying what you really want to say. But just by saying it, it's enough for your feminine to go off of. And once again, twins. You know, this is a reflection. Twins are. It ain't just what you doing, masculine. It ain't just what your feminine's doing, masculine, okay? It's a mirror. It's you two and a mirror. The whole triggering, the whole confusion, the whole separation part of shit, it's the mirror. It's my right hand. And a mirror, it's a look like my left hand. It's my right hand waving. But in a mirror, because it's inverted, this will look like I'm married when I'm not. Rings on my right hand. In a mirror, it'll look like this. I'm not married. Might look that way. Feminines might look like he doing some shit or in a, or you know I mean, like, nah, it ain't what it look like. <laughs> it's a mirror. So you can write a message, eight of wands, on a mirror, divine feminine. You put your whole heart in a mirror. But if you didn't invert it, if you didn't invert the message, he's not going to see it. Same thing with you, masculine. Like I say, you talking. You saying what you want to say. Hopefully, your feminine is aware and hip so she can get the message. It's going to take a lot of thought for her to get it. Like, damn, this looks like babble. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, shit. Let me get a mirror. She puts a mirror behind her and sees the message forward. Oh, it's backwards. That's the mirror. Feminine. That's why you got to know your divine masculine. What are you all about? What his worst fears is. What brings him joy. You know what I mean? You got to really know stuff about your masculine. So when he talks, you can actually hear him. My masculine been telling me shit since day one. I really didn't understand what the fuck he was saying to probably like six, seven years in the game. Six, seven years. Not wasted. But six, seven years nonetheless. He says the same shit. Now I hear him. Because I understand that the mirror is inverted. And I understand that this miscommunication, it was just a miscommunication. That's all it was. You know what I mean? I'm thinking my mask is coming at me negatively. I'm thinking he talking down. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he's just like shitting on me. When in reality, he cares. He was just trying to warn me. I didn't get the warning. Everything my mask said that was going to happen has happened. When he was saying it, I was looking at it as being negative. Why would you wish that on me? Why would you even want that to happen to me? It's because he foreseen it. Queen of Cups, you ain't just the only psychic feminine. Your masculine one, too. I used to downplay my masculine. I don't do that shit no more. <laughs> when he talk, I listen. 
I don't get triggered by him no more. I used to get triggered a lot. That shit stopped year seven. So for you baby twin flames that think y'all got it in year two, year three, year four, fuck no. It's going to take seven years to know a person. It takes seven years to know a person anyway. Seven years is a sign of completion for a friend, for a family member, for a fucking spouse. It takes time. Time is something that we really ain't got at our disposal like that, but... Hey, just like fine wine, give it time. Final card in this message, we got the devil card. What's the devil in my deck? Addictions? A lot of you masculines still bouting with that. It's a heavyweight bout at this point. This is... Overindulging? Just doing shit in excess. Spending in excess. Saving in excess. I mean, you got to invest your pinnacle. You can't just sit on your talent. You can't just sit on your money. Do some shit with it. Like, if you ain't going to spend it, at least help somebody with the shit. <laughs> it's like Scrooge McDuck. Makes no fucking sense why you got a whole vote full of coins that you just swim in and like putting more money into instead of taking some of them coins and at least giving it to people who really need them coins. This could be codependency. I mean, you're leaving your feminine alone, so now you're not codependent on her as you once was. Or your karmic, or whoever you codependent on. This is you being chained to someone, or someone being chained to you, whether you realize it or not. Lastly, this devil card can be regressive behavior, going backwards. Like going to an ex that you just left. Going back to a person, place, or thing that you tend to want, left alone. Whoever this devil is, masculine, it has no power or dominion over you, so you don't need it. Ever this thing is that you codependent on or can't live without. <laughs> You're going to have to R-E-R-E, -R -E, remove this shit from you. Like I say, go to rehab or some shit. Or this could represent a, a relapse. Feminines, this is the reason why your masculine ain't around. He's working on himself. You better have the motherfucking maturity, emotional maturity, to respect that shit. That's the message for the day. Um, let's get straight to this Divine Feminine's karmic situation coming up next. See you on a second. One.